What's the deal, man? What's the motherfucking deal right now? Finishing a little spliff. But shit. Y'all go smoke y'all little cigarettes. Hit y'all little pook stick. Nah, I'm just playing. But, uh, Shit, today... We gonna talk about shit that happened at Dominguez High. If you from Compton, you know where that's at. Even though it's not really in Compton, but it's damn near like the borderline Compton Paramount. We finna talk about how it was. Well, I'm finna talk about how it was. What hoods is up there? I know I talked about it in my Compton video, but I didn't get too much in detail. So let's let's get right into it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, uh when I first went to Dominguez, start going. Ninth grade. I went from ninth grade to twelfth grade. Twenty fourteen to twenty eighteen. So uh when I first went there, it wasn't too many hoods up there. No, nah, it was hoods up there. But it wasn't as much neutral hoods as as it was when I left type shit. Or like by the by my 11th, 12th grade year type shit. That shit really started changing more and more and more. More hoods started coming up there. But the main hoods that was up there like my ninth grade year was the South. AKA the South Side Compton Cribs type shit. Who else was up there? Yeah, it was mostly like the South. I th yeah, I believe the South. That the, uh, the it was a few Atlantics up there. AKA the Atlantic Drive Compton Cribs. Uh, I don't really know if it was the other hoods up there. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't really hang out with a, too much people in ninth grade. But I know for sure the South was up there. The Atlantic was up there. It was War Lane niggas up there too. War Lane, aka War Lane, Compton Crips. Mostly Crips up there at Dominguez. Now, 10th grade was when. I started, started seeing a few more hoods. I met some neighborhood niggas, East Coast, PJ. Oh yeah, PJ was already up there in ninth grade. In ninth grade, it was hella fights. 10th grade, it was hella fights. 11th grade, hella fights. 12th grade. Hella fights. All my years it was hella fights, but eleventh and twelfth grade is when I really start seeing like it was. It was I really start seeing hoods like hella different hoods up in that motherfucker. It always been Mexican hoods too. Always Compton Vadios. Always all of damn near all of fucking Compton Vadios sat that motherfucker. Especially CV two niggas though. Like 12th and 11th grade was like when it was the most hoods up there. When I was there, type shit. But uh, it was like South was up there, Atlantic was up there, the Santana's was up there, Tanners, the, uh, aka the Santana Block, Compton Crips. Uh, it was mob niggas up there, the mob Pyrus. It started be becoming more Pyrus up there. It was a Capanella. Capanella Park was up there. Uh, Park Village was up there. More, uh, it was more, uh, Mexican hoods up there, too. By my 11th and 12th grade. But shit, like, I'm gonna tell y'all about one of the fights I had up there, though, right now. Alright, so I was, I was, I was, 
I was homies with this one nigga. He was like a weirdo too. Like he was a weirdo. Andrew, you a bitch. Andrew, you're a bitch. I think I was running out there. Andrew. Yeah, bro, was a weirdo. That this was the only nigga wearing Griffies in 2015. Nigga, them bitch was played out, nigga. It was a bomb, but look. He was still my boy, though. He was still my boy, bro. This is what happened. We had a class together. Bro, uh, I think bro got mad or something. We was shooting on each other. I was always the type of nigga to shoot, but he's shooting back and shit. This nigga gonna, uh, this nigga gonna, uh, I forgot what happened. It was something like, I shot on him or something. I think his girl or something. I ain't gonna lie. But he was shooting on family members and shit. I wasn't tripping. I don't care. If you shooting on me, I'm gonna shoot back. Like, it's jokes, though. I guess, bro, took it up the ass when I shot on his girlfriend. I think I called his girlfriend ugly or something. I said she was in them classes. <laughs> if you know what the classes be, the classes, nigga. And no, this is not talking about real special ed kids. No. I'm talking about them classes, nigga. Yo, girl, I had them classes. Oh, she a little slow. <laughs> but yeah, uh, bro got mad. Got up, he got up, threw a water bottle at me. Like, dead at me, though. Like, not my face or nothing, but damn near close to my face, right? I'm like, oh, hell no. I got up, pushed the fuck out this nigga. He pushed me back. Nigga start breaking it up. I'm like, bro, if you need that. I didn't say, bro, if you need that, but I said it like 2015, 16 style. Like, trying to run that fade or what, whatever. However we was talking, I don't remember. But he like, yeah. He like, he like, what you trying to do? And I'm like, man, we gonna show me up after school. It ain't nothing. He like, all right, bet, bro. I'm finna make a call. I'm like, shit, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I got peoples up here too, bitch. Like, my co two, two cousins up there. My sister and my auntie went up there. No, I had a cousin and an uncle. That was my cousin age. And a sister... And the auntie, and my auntie was my sister age. So yeah, long story short, I told my peoples. They like, all right, we going. We already had a bus. We already got a bus stop that's right there in the alley that's right there. That alley by the donut shop. On like Compton Boulevard. It's not Compton Boulevard, but it's, I forgot what street that shit called. It turned, turned to Compton Boulevard when you go down to Compton way, not to Paramount way. If y'all know where y'all, if y'all know where Paramount and Compton are, if y'all know where Dominion is, so y'all know what I'm talking about. I just can't think of the street right now. But we had a bus stop over there anyways, and we already always take the bus home. So we like, fuck it, we gonna go anyway. No matter, we gonna bus stop right there. My people was talking to me and shit. We walk in there, normal as hell. We already used to fight. We grew up in the fucking projects. All of us. Literally, all of us. So, uh, they like, it ain't, that shit ain't nothing. So, we walk in there. This nigga got his brother with him. His brother girl, probably, or his brother sister. Big ass tall nigga. Grown as fuck. We in high school. My sister, a senior. My cousin and my uncles. Is 11th grade. This nigga like 25. I ain't tripping off that. So we we uh we all talking and shit. It's a big ass group with them, with them and shit. With us. And we like, uh, I'm taking off my shit. I'm like, what y'all trying to do? Like, and then I'm like, bro, you called your brother on me? I'm like, what the fuck you calling your brother on me, nigga? I'm ninth grade. I swear to god, I'm in ninth grade. Matter of fact, this 2014, 15 type shit. Since I'm in ninth grade, I remember I was in ninth grade. Oh god, I had Mr. Curry. If you know Mr. Curry, man. Shout out Mr. Curry, man. Taught me a lot of taught me a lot of things in life. But uh yeah, that's the class we was in, matter of fact. But yeah, I'm we we talking this shit. I'm like, bro, you called your brother on me, bro. You a bitch, nigga. And I'm I'm we all talking, arguing. This nigga trying to argue with my the grown ass nigga trying to argue with my sister. So I get in here and in front of her, like, nigga, what you trying to do? I'm looking up at him, short as fuck. I'm already short as fuck in ninth grade. I'm still short, low key. Only five nine. But uh yeah, I'm in his face like, nigga, what you trying to do? Like, don't be getting in my sister's face. I don't care. I always had a lot of heart as a 
even though I'm short, all that, I don't give a fuck. Grown, tall, skinny, small, big, short, I don't give a fuck. Built like a horse, fuck it. But, uh, yeah, I'm in his face. And then, and then Andrew called me out. He like, get right here. Get right here. I start squaring up. I'm dumb, dumb, dumb. Socking him up for a few times, right? This nigga didn't even hit me. He just went straight for the tackle. This nigga tackled me. I'm hitting him at first while I'm on the ground because he on top of me. I'm not going to cap because he tackled me. I'm a skinny nigga. He a little bigger. He tackled me. I'm still hitting him. And then he trying to, uh, and then that's when he like stopping. He trying to hit me and I start doing this. And then they pulled him off me. And then, uh, in between all that, my sister friend, like before this happened, my sister friend was talking shit to the dude. Like, and he, cause the dude was like, low key trying to bang on us. We ain't give a fuck about none of that. He wrote, he banged some shit. And she, she like, some, 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 my cousin come up here. And some, some, he like, oh yeah. And he like, bang, he like, bang, go get this, go get this shit. Go, go, go to the car, get this shit. That's before like all that though. We wasn't really tripping off that. I low key heard it, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't forget, but I was fighting. So you feel me? But after that, when they put him off me, as soon as they, as soon as he, they put me, uh, him off me. Uh, the bitch came with the blower like this, huh? tucked in her like this. Like, you feel me? Like, what you trying to do? She's, bro, she was quiet the whole time while my sister all in this, all in her nigga face. You feel me? She was a buster, bro. Buster eyes, bitch. You feel me? And, uh, yeah, man. Like, she started being bold and shit. She like, she like, yeah, yeah. What you trying to do? What you trying to do? She's, she, like, bitch, where was all that energy? Like, when you didn't have the blower, like, yo, nigga, all, my sister, all in your nigga face arguing with him, and you just quiet, like, literally on hush mode, like. So she came tripping, fake tripping. She like, my sister did not run. Everybody ran. Soon as she came, everybody like, she got a gun. <laughs> you know, niggas. I think it was, uh, I forgot who it was that said that, but all I heard was, she got a gun. I ain't gonna lie, I ran with him. <laughs> what you talking about? I ran with him. But my sister, the bold person she is, bro. She over here like, put the gun down. We can squabble. Put the gun down. She ain't move a muscle. Put the gun down. We can squabble. Put the gun down. We can squabble. What? And then that's when uh, my cousin and uh, and not my yeah my cousin and my uncle they they uh backed her. They backed her up and shit. We had to grab her, and that's when they left. They ended up leaving type shit. And then my sister mad as fuck, like screaming and shit. Like, oh, I'm mad as fuck. Like, like who else wanna who wanna fight? Like, who wanna fight since she ain't wanna fight? Who wanna fight? Yelling at people, pressing random motherfuckers and shit. And then my my fucking uh peoples came, picked us up and shit. We didn't have to take the bus, we went home and shit. And yeah, I remember my sister was just mad and shit. And me and my sister, my sister was really just angry type shit. Cause why y'all had a blower at a ninth grade fight? You feel me? Like, why, 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 buddy couldn't just just squabble me and we could have just going about our day. I could have just hopped on the bus. I could have beat bro ass. You feel me? Real quick. And, uh, and just go about about our day. But that's pretty it. That's that's pretty much it about the story and shit. Like. We're going to do a part two for sure because it's, it's a lot of other shit that happened. That was just one of my situations that uh that happened and shit. But, yeah, I ain't have my blickers that day either. I ain't even have my blick at that point, to be honest. I ain't going to lie. But, uh, yeah, man. Let me know what y'all think about the story. I know I was lucky telling that shit fucked up, but hopefully y'all could y'all get what I mean. But until next time, man, I hope y'all like this motherfucker. Comment, subscribe. If you went to the D, bro, you probably remember that shit. Y'all know I ain't capping, man. I ain't capping about shit. In that shit, like about that shit. Oh God. If you if you knew me. Or if you went to that school and you was there, nigga, you remember that shit. I ain't capping about nothing on God. God ain't having no dead guys. I ain't got no reason to cap. But, uh, yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. Fuck with your boy, man.
enggak 